Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor here. One of the questions I've been getting more recently is what is a weighted blanket and how can I use it in my entire sleep routine? A weighted blanket is a bed covering that has additional weight added to it. It's usually spread out evenly across the surface of the blanket. In some cases, it's anywhere from 10 to 20% of the person's actual body weight. So a lot of people wonder, what's it like to sleep under a weighted blanket? The feeling that most people experience while under a weighted blanket is feeling wrapped in a cocoon and very safe. This then has a tendency to ease stress as well as anxiety and allow the natural sleep process to take over. Some people like to know, well, how do these things work? Weighted blankets work based on an idea called proprioception. Under your skin, you have little mechanoreceptors which can feel when weight is applied to the skin. This is a signal to the muscles to then relax because they're being supported. This will then decrease something called cortisol and in some people stimulate oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. Who should use a weighted blanket? Weighted blankets were first used in the autistic community with great success. We've now moved this therapeutic tool to people with anxiety as well as depression and we've seen it be quite helpful just before bed. One big question that people like to ask though, are weighted blankets safe? So number one, be careful with weighted blankets. If you have small pets or infants on the bed, they can crawl underneath, get trapped, and potentially suffocate. As a general rule though, weighted blankets can be helpful for people with chronic respiratory or circulatory issues, asthma, low blood pressure, type two diabetes, believe it or not, claustrophobia, but you want to avoid it if you have obstructive sleep apnea. Now, how would you use a weighted blanket? Step number one, pick the right weight. As another general guideline, I like to start patients off with a 12 to 15 pound blanket, no more. Once they get used to that on the lower half of their body, then they can drape it all the way to the top to get the full effect. Remember, one thing is that a weighted blanket cannot cure your insomnia. You need to follow several other guidelines, including consistent sleep schedule, lowering caffeine, and a reduction in alcohol. I've had many patients do extremely well adding a weighted blanket to their nighttime routine or when they want to take a quick nap during the daytime. If you're having trouble falling back to sleep, then check out my video with some tips and tricks to get you back to sleep in no time. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.